Body. I'm proven. Target acquired. Oh, rip him. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Compared to God, <laughs> no. I'm a knight. If we're repeatedly trying to pry. The fuck? So, John. But nowadays, I really miss my fucking idols. So that's the title. I grab a Bible, pray for my rivals. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Hell yeah, I have not done that for months, my dude. And uh, I'm gonna shout out a few comments really fast because um, I haven't done it for a while. So here's comment number one, here's comment number two, and here's comment number three. So today's video is gonna be about the time I got hacked on this game called Gary's Mod. In case you don't know what Gary's Mod is, I'm gonna read a little bit of the Wikipedia page. I know I don't think you're supposed to trust Wikipedia, but I read this stuff and it seems right, so I'm gonna read it to you guys. Don't worry. All right, Gary's Mod is a sandbox physics game created by Gary Newman and developed by his company, Face Punch Studios. Gary's Mod was originally a mod for Valve Corporation's Half-Life 2, but was later made in a standalone release in 2006 for Microsoft Studios. Oh no. Windows, sorry, published by Valve Corporation. Later updates, no one cares. Uh, the base game mode Sandbox has no objectives, but we're not talking about Sandbox in this video. We're talking about Trouble in Terrace Town. So if you guys don't know what Gary's Mod is, you probably do not know what Trouble in Terrace Town is. So I found another wonderful Wikipedia page for you guys for me to read. So don't worry, you're right. Trouble in Terrace Town, often, often abbreviated as TTT, is a user-created game mode for the sandbox physics game Gary's Mod. It was created by Bad King Gurgrain, I don't know who the fuck that is. Apparently he's a developer, also known for Half-Life 2 modification Zombie Master, don't know what that is. Uh, I'm assuming it, it involves zombies though, don't worry. Trouble in Terrace Town uses Gary's Mod implementation of Lua programming uh, language and he heavily relies on game content from Counter-Strike Source. I think that's just explaining. Now we're gonna go to gameplay. Gameplay shares similarities with the party game Mof Mafia. At the start of each round, approximately uh, one quarter of all players are randomly assigned to be traitors, working for an external intelligent force, while the remainder uh, are innocent. Some innocent players are granted access to special equipment in order to dis discover the traitorous players. These are detectives. The traitors work as a team to hide their true nature and eliminate everyone else before the round ends, while the innocents must work together with the detectives to either find and kill all the traitors, blah blah blah. I guess that's, that's basically all. The, the gist of it really fun game mode and uh yeah you know i know it's around three minutes into the video but i promise it is finally time to tell you guys the story of when i got <laughs> this story takes place in 2012 back when cnn was actually uploaded <laughs> and used to upload gary's my videos like every day and it was fucking awesome at least when i was little I just watched the Niners every day, dude. That shit was fucking epic. Anyways, so the map you guys are seeing me play on right now, that's the map that the actual story took place on. I'm pretty sure it's called Dolls, but don't quote me on that. So I was just chilling, you know, since I was a little bit younger, my voice was kind of like, Hey guys, what's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, you want to check out my like that. It was really fucking annoying. You can probably tell that a lot of people didn't like me when I was playing video games. So I was just talking shit basically. Like, I'm the best Gary's my player in the world, even though I was like the worst. And someone didn't like that. Some guy with like a bunch of like Chinese letters or like Japanese letters. Like I'm I'm not sure. Like I don't really I'm not really educated on that stuff. But like the like whole style of like all the Chinese letters and stuff, like that his his whole name was that. And he just said shut the fuck up. And I'm like No bitch. Sh. And then um I, I definitely fucked up because five seconds later my whole screen just became like blurry and i couldn't see anything on the fucking map and i was like what the hell is going on here i i was like fuck this fuck this i got off the server and i like fucking closed gary's mod and whenever i kept going back into gary's mod i had the same issue everything was like blurry and shit i could never see anything all right guys so there's a little bit more to this story and i'll tell you guys that next video Hell yeah. No, I'm joking. I would not do that to you guys. It's the same story. So around like a year or two, maybe three years. I'm not really sure. I actually, I, th I think it was like two years after the whole like Gary's Mod Steam account being hacked and stuff. Um, my friend uh, wanted to play Gary's Mod with me for some reason. I don't, I don't know why, but um, how it like became a thing that we wanted to go play Gary's Mod, but wanted to go play Gary's Mod for some reason. 
and uh, I gave him the account that was hacked, but I didn't know it was hacked. Like I forgot about it. I like, completely forgot about it for some reason, because I, I I didn't play Gary's Mod for like a year or two before that. So like I just wasn't thinking about it. I was too busy playing like CS:GO or like Call of Duty, so I wasn't thinking about it. So I gave my friend the account. And he was like, what the fuck, this is not, like, 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 why can't I play? What the fuck is wrong with this thing, John? What, what, what what'd you do to my fucking game? <laughs> and, like, I don't, I don't know what this fucking wizard did, but who, whoever would try to play Gary's Mod in that fucking account, their Gary's Mod would be just fucking corrupted, dude. Like, it was just so bad, and I, and I don't understand if it, maybe you guys know, maybe you guys can comment down below what the hell the, the guy was doing to my Gary's Mod. So, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure this hacker guy gave my Gmod, like, herpes or malaria or fucking crabs or some something of that fucking nature. Because when I mean that shit's unplayable, that shit's unplayable. Like, you can't even see your fucking gun. You, you, you can't see the sky above you. You can't see the ground below you. Everything's just fucking blue and glitchy, and it's fucking disgusting. But, uh, yeah, I would show you guys some footage of it. Well, one, I feel like it's dangerous to open up on my computer. And then number two, uh, around 2016-15, Steam added this, like, phone verification thing. And this account was verified on one of my old phones that I don't have anymore. So, I don't know if there's a way to, to go around that. I mean, the I spent 10 minutes trying to figure it out, but I couldn't figure it out. So, if you guys know how and you guys don't believe me... You guys can comment down below how I can get into the account and I can get some footage of it and show you guys in the beginning of like my next video or something. But uh, yeah, I, I had a lot of fun trying this new type of editing with this like voice changing. As you could probably tell, I just changed my voice right there. So uh, yeah, you know, I'm pretty cool, like whatever. But if you guys want more edits like that and shit, make sure you guys comment below. If you guys want more stories, comment down below, blah, blah, blah. And uh, don't forget to beat the fuck out of the like button because that used to be a thing. Is that still a thing? Do people still say that? Like, yo, guys, beat the fuck out of the like button. Let's get to, like, 10 million likes or something like that. Because I usually, me personally, I use, like, I, I usually watch old YouTube videos right now. And I watch some in my feed or whatever. I, I don't know. You guys can tell me. But, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next video.